MTN when a mountain lion attacks. She probably could have easily been killed. One Billings nonprofit prides itself on being a place of recovery, but now one of their horses is left injured. And cold as ice. Oh my goodness, give it up for the Bolson High School Choir. One Montana high school choir rocks out with the legendary band Foreigner. The MTN News starts right now. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us on the 430 News. I'm Andrea Lutz. Billings Horse Rescue is reeling tonight from what they say is a traumatic incident involving one of its horses attacked by a mountain lion. The horse named Char is making a steady recovery, but her owners are now on high alert. Our Charlie Kleps takes a look at the close call and what changes the owners might make now. A near deadly attack happened here at Over the Hill Equine Rescue just two weeks ago. One of the 23 horses was attacked by a mountain lion, and fortunately they're recovering, but it's a jarring incident for the owner. Over the Hill Equine Rescue prides itself on being a place of recovery a place for animals to heal and overcome trauma. We take in horses that are unwanted. But two weeks ago, the opposite happened when a horse that has long called the rescue home was attacked by a mountain lion. It was shocking. I, I At first I was just like, oh, what happened? And, and then after that, I kind of went into panic mode and was trying to figure out, you know, I was just panicked, is, is she okay? What, you know, if she was covered in blood. The horse named Char suffered deep cuts on her rear end, as well as a deep puncture that hit a vertebrate. Fortunately, she survived the attack and is expected to make a full recovery. The first few days, she was super sore, and now she's finally back to where she can move around and not be in pain. But that mountain lion remains on the loose, and Sarah Shipman is worried the animal could attack again. One reason she's making some changes to try and make the property safer for her horses. We'll tell you more about that tonight on the MTN News at 530. In the Blue Creek area, Charlie Kleps, MTN News. If you have yet to file your property tax rebate, there's a little bit of good news. The deadline has now been extended by just one day. That means the last day to claim your property tax rebate is October 2nd. The Department of Revenue approved more than 180,000 claims, totaling $120 million. That's 80% of potential claims. The choice to extend the deadline is due to the previous deadline falling on a Sunday. You can submit your claim at getmyrebate.mt.com gov or file a paper form. Those paper forms are postmarked by October 2nd, but they will be accepted if they are. Meanwhile, Montana State Senator Brad Molnar has filed a lawsuit against the state of Montana, saying the Department of Revenue is overtaxing Montanans by nearly $80 million. Mulner, a Laurel resident, has filed that class action lawsuit in Yellowstone County District Court. The state is allowed to tax 95 mills on property owners to go toward education equalization. In 1999, a law was passed giving local governments the ability to impose less than that in any given year, but then carry over the extras into future years. Molnar's suit says the Department of Revenue is trying to do this now, but doesn't have the authority because they're not a local government. Molnar will hold a press conference formally announcing the suit tomorrow at the courthouse. Nice shot with the Stockman Bank weather cam as the temperatures warmed up today. As warm as we're going to see for quite a while all across the region. We were looking at readings running 10, 15, 17 degrees, warmer than average. But cooler temperatures start to move in tomorrow. Not going to see a huge drop. Still going to be at or even slightly warmer than average. But by the end of the week, we're still on track for some cooler and wetter weather. Will it be a replay of what we saw last weekend? We'll try to break down as much of the details for you as we can in just a few minutes with a complete forecast. Montana Attorney General Austin Knutson joins 20 other states asking the U.S. Supreme Court to give local governments more power to enforce urban camping bans. A 2023 ruling by the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals prevents civil fines for camping or sleeping in public places. It's an issue rising in many Montana cities, some of course facing affordable housing shortages. Well, the petition says these rulings have left local governments powerless in addressing homeless encampments. And he also says it strips local and state governments from the power to regulate public spaces, creating unsafe spaces. Bozeman was rocking last night as the infamous band Foreigner hit the stage at Brick Breeden Fieldhouse with a special guest. <laughs> 
Excitement ran high last night as the Bozeman High School Choir got their own taste of stardom. They shared the spotlight with the rock band as a part of Foreigner's historic farewell tour. The choir spent countless hours preparing for their big moment, and the students say it's a moment they will always remember. I feel like you're ready? Yeah, I'm pretty ready. Yeah, ready. This tour represents the last time the band will be rocking out on stage together, and of course the band is behind those hits such as Cold as Ice and Jukebox Hero. Still to come on the MTN 430 News here on Q2, Switch Society will take you inside a new and unique thrift store in Billings where points turn into purchases. And later, cyber attack threats are on the rise within classrooms. We'll tell you how you can keep your child's information safe. It's all in just a bit.